Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made a wiener dog cake. Randy entered her pet on a drawing that we held on Patreon, and she won! So we are going to make a cake inspired by her pet, Oscar the Wiener Dog. If you'd like to enter a future Sidesurf Cake Studio drawing, all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes and become a patron. Speaking of patrons, I want to give a shout out to Curse Lee. Thank you so much for joining and we're super happy to have you. So let's get started. Here I have a sheet of parchment paper and a layer of vanilla cake and some really fun electric green buttercream. So this is going to be a pillow. Randy sent images of Oscar the wiener dog. <laughs> And I noticed that Oscar is clearly very well taken care of. He has a super comfy looking bed and a bunch of blankets. And you can tell that he's a napper. So I decided that it would be fun to make a cake of Oscar sleeping in a bed. So once the cake is covered in buttercream, I roll out some white modeling chocolate and I place that over top of the cake and I just work it around the cake. You trim away the excess modeling chocolate and then you take a sculpting tool and you can tuck that chocolate underneath the cake. Pretty simple, already looks like a pillow. So Oscar's head is going to be laying in the center of this pillow. So I used my fingers to create folds as if the fabric is taut from the weight of his head. Next comes his head. And I decided to sculpt the head completely out of modeling chocolate rather than cake. That's because this is going to make my life a little easier when I go to place his head onto that pillow. Because solid modeling chocolate is a lot more sturdy than a cake covered in modeling chocolate. Plus his head is pretty small, so it would probably only be about one serving of cake and I just feel like that's not worth the effort. Uh, if this was a much larger cake, I would make his head out of cake though. Have you ever been to a wiener dog race? So let me know in the comments because I went about three years ago for the first time and it was the funniest and cutest race known to man. Nothing like hundreds of short legged long bodied pups just running around. Sometimes they would run in the wrong direction. It was so funny. I think it's those legs, those cute little short legs. So for the eyes, I sculpt an eye socket first and then I work a chunk of white modeling chocolate into the eye socket, and then I add an upper eyelid. And this is all done with modeling chocolate. I adjusted exactly where I wanted the pillow on the cake board, and then I placed Oscar's chocolate head onto the pillow, and then I supported the head with a chunk of modeling chocolate. So that chunk of modeling chocolate, I then blend into the head so that it looks like it's his neck and shoulders. Then comes more cake and buttercream. I sculpted the body a bit blob-like. <laughs> and that's because I'm going to add a layer of modeling chocolate that looks like Oscar is going to be under a blanket. And there's a lot of folds and creases, so I don't want the body to be shaped too much. I want it to look like a blob. Because we look like blobs when we're under blankets. I don't care if you're a dog or a human. <laughs> So it looks like the name Oscar is actually in the top 100 boy puppy names. Just like baby names, dog names will rise and fall in popularity per year. So the number of dogs named after Frozen characters rose 900% the year after the movie came out. That's crazy. <laughs> that shows how popular that movie was. My dog's name is Mrs. Robinson. Which makes me wonder if there is another Mrs. Robinson dog out there in the world. <laughs> Oscar's paws are also sculpted out of just modeling chocolate. So wiener dog paws are actually pretty large relative to their bodies, and that's because they're good for digging. According to the American Kennel Club's most recent stats on the most popular breeds, dachshunds actually rank number 12 out of 195 breeds on the list. That is a super popular dog. I see why. They're flipping cute. I added a few more details in the blanket, some folds around his body just to make it look a little more natural. And now it's time to add Oscar's ears, which I think are the cutest thing about Oscar. They're super big and floppy. 
Once the ears are on, I added a few final sculpted details on his face, especially around his nose, and then I even added texture to the blanket with a hard bristle brush. Anytime I can add some different textures to a cake, I do it. I love messing with textures. I kept it pretty simple as far as hand painting. I added a few black areas on his face, especially around his eyes and his mouth and his nose. And then I added a few dark brown shadows um, around his ears. And really just a slight change in color can make it look much better. And then I added a few dark brown shadows and some very subtle highlights. I used gel food color mixed with a very strong clear alcohol. And sometimes I switch it up and I just use water and gel food color. I added a very subtle gray on the pillow, so I painted the whole pillow super light gray. I don't want it to be too dramatic. And then I went in and added white highlights over top. In the real images of Oscar, I saw that he had a few different blue and white striped blankets. So I replicated those blankets for the patterns on cake Oscar's bed. So I have three different shades of blue. I have the dark blue in the pillow, I have a medium blue in the blanket, and then a light blue for the sheet. And there you have it, a cake of Oscar the Wiener Dog. So while I think he's too cute to eat, you know we have to cut the cake. 